Hey guys, I'm back with another calculator programming video, and today I'm going to be making a program that factors uh, an integer that you put in. So to start off, I'm just going to create a new program. I'll call it Program A, and we're going to start off with Clear Home, um, and then I think I'm just going to use input, and we'll ask for an integer and I'm just going to store that integer in A okay so when I check for the uh, for the factors I'm just gonna want to do a for loop so I'm gonna go from every number from 1 to the integer except since if since okay so if the number has two as a factor which is the lowest non one factor that a number can have then the highest factor can only be that number divided by two so we only need to check um, f uh, from one to two for for one to the integer divided by two and we actually have to give that a value so for b from one to a divided by two is what I'm going to say for that and I'm going to use f part for this so f part uh, I know it's not a very common command probably that people use. Um, it removes the decimal part of a number. So if you if you have 8.95, 8 f part of 8.95 will just give you 0.95. Sorry, it removes the uh, integer. It'll give you the decimal. Or like 4.2, it'll give you 0.2. So if it's just 4, it's of course zero. So what we're going to say is if f part of b equals zero, which means there is no decimal, then we're going to do something. Um, so first of all, let's just get ourselves um, a y value and an x value. So if we have this, then let's increase our y by one so that each factor is going to be on a new line. And then if y equals 11, which would be off the screen, or in fact, we can just say greater uh, greater than 10 because that's better. So if y is greater than 10, then, then another then. So be careful with your ends. That's a lot of ends. Um, so if y is greater than 10, then we want to store one back in y. And let's just add 4 to x. Okay, now we're going to output at y comma x a divided by b. No, b. And then up here, this f part should actually be a divided by b. Okay, now that should be good. Except at the bottom here, I'm going to say y plus 1 stored in y. If y is greater than 10, then 1 stored in y. Uh, x plus 4 stored in x. Um, and then we're going to output at y comma x. And we're just going to output uh, a, which is just the number that we, were pr we prompted for. And then pause and clear home. So if I did this correctly, this should work. So I'm going to run program A. It's going to ask me for an integer. So if I put in the number 20, it should just go down the line and it should list like 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20. 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20. Yep, so that's, uh, it appears to be working so far. Let's just add in a clear home here though. And now let's try something with Okay, so if I add, if I put in the number one, it's just one. That's good. Prime number, so say 13. We just get one and 13. Okay, it seems to work. Uh, nine, one, three, nine. Okay, so now some bigger numbers. If we try 36, that does not have enough numbers to wrap. So let's do 3,600, and we get that nice wrap, and it appears to be factoring it. So, I mean, that's uh. That's, what we wanted the program to do and it could definitely uh, be handy like if you 
need to factor like if you're looking for factors of a big number because you don't know if it's prime or not this could help out but yeah that's the program so thanks for watching uh hope you enjoyed